Over the past couple of days, EA Sports has been tweaking some pack odds in the store, so in today's video, we're going to be going through and showcasing which packs changed, as well as testing them to see whether or not we can make some profit. Now, so so your family, and welcome back to another Madden 23 video. Hope you watching this one are having a wonderful start to your day, and without further ado, let's get started. Oh yeah, by the way, someone said they wanted a $10 Xbox gift card, so here you go. First person to put in these digis is getting 10 bucks for free. If you want another one, be sure to leave a like down below, and of course, while you're down there, this is optional, but hit that red sub button for more Madden Ultimate Team tips, tricks, and giveaways. Okay, now getting started with this video, the first thing that I want to do is teach you guys how to identify if pack odds have changed in the store. Now, basically, all you're going to do is you're going to navigate to one specific pack. So let's say, for example, we want to use the game day pack to test this one out. What you'll basically do is you'll click X on the pack until you get to this screen right here, and then you're going to click the triangle button because EA Sports, I believe this year or the year before, added these probabilities. And at the bottom of the screen, as you can see, this tells you when the probabilities were generated. So as you guys can see right here, it says probabilities as of 420, April 20th. Let's hope the EA Sports employee that changed these pack odds on 420 was observing the holiday and gave us some good odds. But continuing on, it says the contents of the pack are dynamically generated and probabilities are verified using a computational system. That part of it doesn't really matter. Basically, all that we're looking for is we're looking for a date. And as you can see, it says 420. That's when the pack odds were changed on this pack, meaning that about five days ago or six days ago, the pack odds got updated and they got boosted. And you guys can do this for really any pack in the store. As you guys can see on this one, the pack odds were most recently changed on the 18th of April. And for other packs in the store, there will be different dates on them. So if we take a look at like the elite pack right here, this one, they changed on 420 as well. They gave us a little boost a couple of days ago. Then for the pro elite pack, this one again, 420. And then just so you guys can see an example of a pack that hasn't been changed in a while. If we take a look at this gold plus player, this one hasn't been changed since September of 2020. Too. The odds have not changed since that point. So obviously EA Sports has not adjusted these odds with the way that the game has changed. So this is probably a pack you might not want to open up. But basically by using this tactic, you can go through and see when EA Sports changed pack odds for this pack right here. They haven't been updated since the 10th of April, which is quite a while ago for the Mission Mutt pack. I believe EA Sports actually did boost up the Ultimate Legend pack right here, which is interesting. This one, they also changed on 420. Massive day for EA Sports on 420. We love it. And finally, taking a look at the weekly wild card as well. This one changed on April 21st. So EA Sports has made quite a few changes, most notably the weekly wildcard pack, the ultimate legend pack got boosted, as well as these four packs you guys see on the bottom. So we're going to try all these. We're going to see if any of them make us coins, and I'll let you guys know if you should open these to make some profit. Now, before we get started with pack number one, fellas, I've really been loving the NBA action over the past couple of days, and I've been enjoying it a little bit more when I get to make picks on Underdog Fantasy, who's the sponsor of this video. As you guys can see, I'm busting out of their t-shirt right here as I get absolutely yoked. Nah, not yet, but hopefully soon. But like I was saying, fellas, Underdog Fantasy is a place where you guys can make higher or lower player picks. Here are some of the wins that I've had over the past week-ish. We've actually done pretty well. I think I'm up a little bit over the past week or two. We've been making some pretty solid picks. So if you guys want to get in on the action and check out Underdog Fantasy, you can either just download the app off the App Store by searching for Underdog Fantasy, or you can click the link in the description. And while you're signing up, very important, use the promo code SWIFT. What that's going to do is get your first deposit matched up to 100 bucks, giving you some free cash and we might have some special lines coming soon for code swift users like for example this julius randall 0.5 points line which is available not too long ago so if you want to check out underdog again click the link in the description or just search for underdog on the app store and use the promo code swift now like i was saying let's start with the weekly wild card pack right here also just appreciate you guys a ton that use my promo code swift that's really the way i'm able to be a youtuber so thank you guys if you've used the code but starting with the weekly wild card pack right here we're gonna get a jason peters this cost it a 60 67,000 coins. We'll be keeping track to see whether or not we make or lose coins on this pack, but we're going to need someone higher than a 91. Uh, we're going to probably need like a 93 or better in this slot if we want to make some profit and we pull a 91 Romeo Dobbs. So yeah, the 91s are going to sell for about like 20,000 coins per player. That means we're making back about 40k, still losing a little bit of value on this pack. We'll try one more right here. I um, mean, we'll kind of just work our way from left to right in the store. As I go through, I'll score these packs. I'll say whether or not you should open them um, and we'll see if we're going to do pretty well on them as we get a 94 Mitch Morse pull. That's actually really big right there. We're going to get a Grand Guardian Shuma Okafor and we ended off with a 91 Drew Dolman, but not too bad. A 94 Mitch Morse. That's solid. That'll definitely play. In terms of prices right here, this card's going to be selling for. I don't know why the servers have been so slow recently. I don't know if you guys have noticed that as well, but this card is going to be selling for over 100,000 coins or about 100k, which means we probably make back about 120k on that pack and probably profit about 
about 60k on that one really good okay so overall that pack is not too terrible i would say that you're probably not going to be losing out on coins all that often although you are only going to pull a 94 plus about 13 percent of the time of course if you end up pulling something that's like a 92 or a 93 you can be in a decent situation as well i would probably give these packs we'll say a b minus because i don't really think you're going to be making coins on too consistent of a basis okay now next up the ultimate legend pack right here this one's going to be giving you a 92 plus only 33 percent of the time but it gives you a 96 plus 13 percent of the time so compared to the last pack we opened i would say this one is more of like a boomer bust pack while this weekly wild card one is probably going to be more consistent but let's open up the ul pack right here we will try two of these we'll try two of every single pack give them a score and let's start it off with card number one we're gonna need some decent pulls of course we can do poorly as we go through here there is the chance that we just pull like straight 88s that would suck but that obviously could happen we're gonna get a charles woodson and a joe montana i accidentally clicked right twice on the stick and we ended off with a core elite jordan fuller i would say realistically this pack probably isn't generating us a ton of value shoot i would say this one right here probably generates us maybe like thirty-five thousand coins of value not too amazing we do lose there but of course like i said this is more of a boomer bust pack where the other one is probably only losing you about twenty thousand coins at maximum if you get the minimum every single time we'll start it off with an emmett smith of course we're looking to do well this could be a nice pull this should be a 92 right okay it's a 92 charvarius ward i thought so that's beautiful still got a couple ultimate legend slots can pack to be glitchy in each of the pack openings the loyalty token is going to be right there uh, we're going to be getting a ultimate legend 88 shan taylor give me a big boy pull ea sports give me a big boy pull 88 vernon davis so the 92 charvarius ward is a good pull i believe this should be selling for a pretty penny this should probably guarantee that we make our coins back yeah he's selling for 30k i would suspect we're around break even on that one but if i'm being fully honest i'm gonna probably give those packs like a c plus it's gonna be tough to make coins on those of course it's very boomer bust you could lose coins quickly want to open up packs with better odds than ea sports gives you well check out mudpacks.com to open up packs win coins and withdraw them directly to your account and of course use code swift as you're checking out the site for 15 percent off all right moving on to the game day right here this video is getting a little bit long so i'm gonna try and fly through these probably just gonna open up each of these packs one time the game day though at 28.5k looking at those odds really quickly i kind of like the sound of that to be honest with you 28,000 coins we'll see how much value we can get in return of course with these packs right here you're likely going to be pulling more of an assortment of lower overall players but typically with lower overall cards in this game that's where you can actually get more bang for your buck in terms of how much you're selling these cards for mark ingram 91 one overall pull that is nice to see and we're gonna end it off right here with an 87 hunter renfro so on this pack i would say we're probably making profit like i'm about 95 percent sure we make a little coin value like yeah there's probably what about 35,000 coins of value in here i'm a fan that's actually a pretty good pack i would say this pack is probably a b plus it's not terrible then moving on to the pro game day right here for 54,000 coins here are the odds you're gonna be getting just off rip right here this feels a little bit worse than the regular game day i think the regular game day was probably a little bit better when it comes to bang for your buck but hey let's see what we can get right here Fifty-four thousand coins we started off with a kendall fuller uh, we're gonna get a core elite shall we bosa right here so a lot of core elites to start that's not super ideal we're hoping for something higher than a 90 overall could this be one right here maybe a most feared champion it's gonna be an 87 c higgins not too good legend card probably not amazing either okay 92 mark burnell we'll take that that's actually pretty solid right there uh, we're also gonna get an 85 jerome bettis and we ended off with a zero chill christian McC Caffrey, but in terms of value right here for this pack, honestly, what do you guys think? About 40,000 coins, probably. Actually, probably like 45,000 coins, if I'm being fully honest with you guys. Mark Burnell selling for 30 um, is definitely going to help us out right there. So yeah, that pack's decent. Again, I don't think it's super worth it. We'll probably give it like a B, a, a flat B. Then next up, the Elite Pack right here. This is one that I'm honestly a little bit skeptical of. I mean, there is a 41% chance at a 91+, plus, which is good. Like, if you get a 91+, plus, you're probably going to make your coins back, but there's only one elite slot in here otherwise you're probably going to get a bunch of mid as could this be the elite slot right here it's a chris harris i'm going to suspect that that's probably okay maybe it's not maybe we got another high elite okay 84 game chancellor i read that as a 94 i have no clue why and an aka 82 cam chancellor so ea sports loving the cam chancellor pulls right here a 91 chris harris though not too shabby actually i would say we're probably close to break even on this pack which is always a good thing like i feel like we're actually doing pretty decently on these probably have about like 28 
8,000 coins of value in here. And again, this elite pack, honestly, probably decent value. I would say a B if I had to give it a score. Then finally, it's the pro elite pack. This is basically the equivalent of opening up two elite packs in one. You're spending 62,000 coins right here. And in terms of what we're going to get in return, uh, let's take a look, fellas. There should be some higher overall pulls. 62k down the hatchet, 90 Cameron break to start. Not super ideal. 89 at Oliver. Let's hope those are not our two 89 plus overall elite slots. 86 Michael Irvin, a core gold, an AJ Green. Could this be a big AKA card? It's not. And we ended off right here with a core gold and it's a Charlie Heck. Now, in terms of my favorite packs, I'll let you guys know. Now, honestly, I feel like I prefer the lower packs. So packs like the elite pack, packs like the game day pack, as well as the weekly wild cards. Those are probably my top three. If you want to try some packs in the store, I would say those might be the move in terms of value. The game day actually looked pretty decent right here. We did pretty solid out of it. The odds on it actually look pretty good as well. So if you guys want to check out any of those packs, let me know how you do. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.